Hey miners, Mining King here. Today I'm going to teach you how to mine Neoxa with HiveOS. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, we're over here at Neoxa.net and this is going to be our first step in be being able to mine Neoxa in HiveOS you are going to need to come over to the download page and you're going to need to download their um, core wallet right here. So either use Windows or Mac or Linux, whatever have you for whichever operating system you have, you'll click over here on downloads. Now I have Windows, so you would want to download the Neoxia, Neoxia QT Windows 64 zip and unzip it and install the core wallet. So then once you extract and, uh, and install the wallet, you will have to wait for the uh, wallet to uh, sync the headers and sync with the blockchain. And then what you want to do is, is you want to come over here to receive transactions. And then you want to click here, request, uh, request payment. And then you're going to want to cop come down here to copy address. And this is going to copy your Neoxa uh, wallet uh, address so that way you can get paid out in your Neoxa. So once you've let the uh, headers and the blockchain sync and everything like that, we're going to come back over here to our, um, we're at my farm right now. So you're going to want to come back over to your farm and then you're going to want to click wallets. You're going to want to click add a wallet and Neoxa is not in um, HiveOS right now, so you're going to have to create Neoxa. Then you're going to right click and paste in your address, and we'll just call it the Neoxa test wallet. So now that we've created our wallet, we're going to come over to our flight sheets, and we're going to do Neoxa because this is what we named our coin. We're going to add our test wallet. And then for our pool, we're going to come over here to mining pool stats. And this is a really easy way to find it. You're going to click new coins. Then you're going to click Neoxa. And then here is a list of the pools that they currently have right now. Uh, I'm just going to mine with a uh, new pool since it's, you know, um, I like mining to this pool. I've been mining the pool since I first started mining Neoxa, so I've just stayed with it. Because when Neoxa first came out, there was only about like three pools, which as you can see, it's already up to 12. So there's been quite a bit of growth on the project. So we'll click over here at new pool. And then we're gonna click the get started page. And then, you're, and then you will have all this information. So then you're going to, uh, now I see, this is just for, uh, I, I don't know if they have different ports for different amounts of mega hash, but I, I, I did this myself. So let's just say this is 150 mega hash or less. So then I'm just going to choose my miner, which I'm going to be using, we'll say team red miner. So then you want to come over here and click see more. And then you're going to see the pool address with the port number. So then you're going to control C. And then we're going to come back to, we're going to click on pool here and it's going to say configure in the miner. So then we're going to come down to team red miner. And this also works with like T-Rex or LOL and all that other stuff, like the other miners, you know, so you're going to have to set your pool up in the miner config because Neox is too brand new for HiveOS to have all the nice drop down menus. So we're going to click set up miner config. We're going to choose the Kapow algorithm, right? Because that's the algorithm it's on. We're just going to use the wallet worker name template. So then you're going to have the pool URL and then you're just going to paste it in. So once you have this, you click apply changes and create flight sheet. As you can see, we just created the Neoxa flight sheet. So what we'll do is, is I, 
I have one of my workers not working right now. It was mining something, so we're gonna click flight sheets. We're gonna come down to our, our test wallet here and we're gonna click the little rocket. So we are currently in my miner right now. These are all RX 6600s. Um, I have six of them mining right now and we're mining to new pool. And boy, we are finding lots and lots of shares um, <laughs> right off the bat. Um, so anyways, guys, this is how you mine uh, Neoxa in Hivo S. So if you guys have any questions, please leave it down in the comments down below. I hope this video was informative and helped you guys be able to mine Neoxa until HiveOS integrates, you know, uh, Neoxa into their, um, you know, their system. So right now it, it is a little bit of a manual setup to get the mining going, but I hope this video helped you guys out. All right, guys, just remember this is the mining can giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time. If you guys like this kind of content, please check out this video or this video. And remember, this is the money can giving you the most hashes and I'll see you next time.